the late uh, presentation and the last. Hope uh, you have a great exhibition, and uh, we, I'm very pleased to introduce you uh, how we call it the Dovid Diffractive Optical Image Device. And I will introduce you uh, about the company Hologram Industries. So, uh, as you might know, we, on any kind of document, ID documents, you have an hologram that protects the data page. So, I will explain you why there is this hologram and how it is made, and what are the latest technologies. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so, uh, Hologram Industries is, uh, is a company based in France. Uh, today we have uh, 290 people in the company. And uh, we have increased our turnover by 15% uh, from uh, 2010. So today we are at 43 million euros. And uh, of course, our main turnover is realized outside of France because we are present in more than 50 countries in the world, mostly in the passport market. Uh, due to our high secure business and high secure company, we are certified as Euro Central Bank. So we are allowed, and we, uh, today we deliver Euro banknotes with holographic patch. Uh, we are CW Integraph, uh, which is uh, the, the holographic manufacturer certification, so the most known for our business. And we are certified NASPO Class 1, which is the highest security uh, certification in the world, so which secure the, the factory, the production, uh, and also uh, the quality uh, product. Finally, we are uh, ISO qualified for the, the environmental and the quality, which is very important in our company. So Hologram Industries uh, today is a group, uh, a group of, uh, as you can see, of the optical division and the digital division. The optical division is involved in uh, all the visual and optical device, so in brand protection, in fiduciary documents, so it's banknotes, credit cards, certificates, in ID uh, documents, or so passport, visa, uh, ID cards, driving license, vehicle ID, it's also how to authenticate a car for, uh, in a government project, and finally, for the digital contents, it concerns how to authenticate uh, a document through uh, now uh, your computer because it's become more and more difficult to control and authenticate uh, a document. So now we have a mix of optical technology and digital technology. So that's where we're going to introduce you. So um, today, uh, what makes difference between uh, all holographic manufacturers? Because you will say all holograms are similar, but this is not true. Uh, all, uh, every holographic manufacturer has our own technology. And the R&D department is one of the key success of uh, the manufacturing, because every, uh, every R&D department will develop more and more new technology to be advanced to the counterfeiters, because, in fact, we are experts against anti-counterfeit documents. So we are here to advise authority how to authenticate and also to, uh, to help them to protect that document. So uh, every year, more than uh, this year typical, we have uh, invest 15% uh, of our revenue in uh, the R&D department. The, the, uh, the hologram is based on the microstructure and nanostructure. So microstructure means that we are changing the surface of the material. So it's a transparent film, okay, polymer film polyester film, sorry, and then we, we change by the structure to get a diffractive image. Then a nano diffractive structure, it is uh, another new technology that we have uh, our own patent on this, and it's, uh, it's no more on the surface, but the technology, it's inside, embedded inside the film. 
So uh, I, I'm going to explain you uh, later the, the feature of this. To have a, a great success, uh, it's not only making high definition hologram, but we have to, to work a lot on the adhesive and the material, which, which it's on the key success point. If you have an hologram which is not stick, a fix and seal with the paper or the card, then there is no uh, way to have a secure product. So we have our own laboratory, which uh, for every project personalize the adhesive for the support, which is a very an important point. So today, these are our references in the world. So as you can see, uh, we are present in a worldwide representation so in Latin America, in North America, in Europe, Africa, Middle East, and Asia, which is not inside, but uh, I can tell today we have, uh, we have been awarded for the Chinese passport. So this is a great news for us. Uh, and uh, we deliver so uh, big countries like uh, Bangladesh, uh, Pakistan, uh, so quite interesting countries. So as I, I'm going to go very, go very quickly through this uh, technology, as I said, uh, the, the optical technology is based on the surface uh, microstructure to get this uh, reflective. This is the most known technology. This is a rainbow technology. So what you, you see on every business credit business card and uh, most of uh, holograms. But then we go through to untypical technology to be more advanced and uh, to give also the way how to easiest way to the border to control the document because in finally make a control on a on a hologram it's very difficult it requires some uh, skills and knowledge so we help now the borders to control easily quickly a document through this uh, nanostructure technology which is uh, with the French map, as you can see, and uh, the women in red. So it's based on, uh, on two colors, this technology. And uh, in fact, when you turn at 90 degrees, this technology, the two colors we permute. So the, the French map with green become red, and the women become green. I will show you with a feature then. And then the last, uh, the last feature is uh, based on the volume hologram. As you can see with the black guy, you have his own uh, holographic view. This is the latest uh, technology. It's uh, based on a, no more on a classical hologram uh, uh, film, but now photopolymer technology. So it's a volume polymer. So now you personalize every ID document by the holographic picture of the person, so it's a very strong feature because it's easy to control and to authenticate the person and the owner. So the official world of the hologram, it's a DOVID, okay, diffractive optical variable image device. And uh, the key point why we use a hologram on ID documents is because it gives an easy way to, to the border control and authority to control the document. Because uh, quickly we can see if there is any attack from a, a counterfeiter who try to reach the data, change uh, any features. By, for example, the most known is uh, a counterfeiter will try to change the face uh, or the, the, birth, uh, the, birth, uh, the date of birth. So uh, the hologram will uh, quickly detect this uh, changing. So it's a key, a key point for mostly for passport. And uh, today it's uh, the IKO, so the International Aviation, Civil Aviation, who makes the recommendation to the all authorities. So these are today the generation of uh, the holographic generation. So uh, as you can see, the first generation, as you know, uh, and the most known is a 3D design, so 3D hologram. Then uh, we go through the second generation with uh, high diffractive animated, which uh, you can find on the, mostly on banknotes, like uh, Euro banknotes, but also on, mostly on passport now. And the last generation, it's uh, uh, based on nanostructure, 
we saw our technology, we call it the DID, with the two colors, as you can see the butterfly on, on red and the background on green, the two colors permit. I will show you a video so that you can see the feature. And the volume hologram with the personalized hologram with the black guy on the, on the top. This is a, the top, the, today the latest uh, features and very strong. It's used today in Germany on, the, on their national ID cards and uh, this is uh, the latest generation and I think it's, it's going to be very uh, more and more known in countries and uh, people and countries will, uh, will go through this type of uh, technology. So you can uh, the video for the first one. So I'm going to show you some videos uh, uh, yeah. So, for example, this one is uh, the, the, the French passport and the technology, as I said, uh, based on the nanostructure. So, as you can see, you see two colors, the French map and the women, and in the red and green. This is the way how you control the French passport. And there is the other one, uh, I think this one. And if I turn on 90 degrees, you see the two colors per mute. So this is a very strong feature because it's easy to control. You just have to turn the document by 90 degrees to check it. And uh, it's easy to teach the, con the, the people to control the document because it's not only a question for border people, for authorities. But when you open an account in a bank or insurance, people have to control your uh, your, your document, ID document, and then it becomes easy for them to control the document. So this feature is present in the Chinese passport, Bangladesh passport, Pakistan ID card, uh, Egypt passport, uh, Senegal passport, Belgium ID card, uh, Portuguese ID card. So we have uh, more than 20 references in the world. So this feature becomes more and more known in the, by the authority. Then we have the most known rainbow effect. So this is still uh, the, the French passport. So what you can see here, what's interesting, it's the wide range of the rainbow. So this belongs to the origination. So uh, this is a, a very, uh, a very, I will say, uh, beautiful effect, even if it's the most known. But uh, what we can see is the wide range, which is very difficult to reproduce. And the last effect, uh, it's a more, we call it the morphing. So you start from one picture and become another one. So it's still on the French passport, but you have it on a lot of. So uh, the French maps become uh, the famous woman. Uh, we call it Marianne in France. Let me back. Is this one? Yes, it's this one. Oh. Okay, so what is important in, uh, in a document is to combine all these technology to get a very high secure document. If you focus only on one technology, you can, you, you, the document can be easily uh, counterfeit, I will say. But then if you combine several technologies, then it becomes more and more difficult for a counterfeiter to change or to make a copy. Then the last process is a metallized um, the metallization is, uh, it means that you, you, you have some metal, as you can uh, see on the card. So the gray part, you see, it's a metal. So it's a chemical process. There is no video. What you can, uh, yeah, here. What you can uh, say on this process is a chemical process, industrial. It's very, very difficult to, uh, to make because we're only four companies in the world be able to make this kind of uh, chemical process. So you have to metallize the complete film, and then you put off the metal, and you keep only a few parts of metal on the film. So this is a, a very complicated feature and very interesting uh, for the ID documents. That's the demetallization effect just I've just told. Then uh, on every hologram, and I secure your hologram, you have uh, three security levels. So the first level is just action the overt feature, what you see first, how to control the document. Then you always have a second security level, which you need a specific, I will say, tool or 
specific, uh, yeah, uh, like for example, a magnifier to see uh, a micro text, a micro graph, or for example, like here, you could have also a polarization filter, like here. So when you turn the, the polar filter by 90 degrees, you will see the, the two colors per mute, like here, as you can see on the, on the Marianne uh, and French map. Here, uh, just uh, above, you can see, we, we, we call it a scramble graph. It's in fact uh, with a glass. When you apply a glass on the, on the hologram, you will have uh, some uh, text who will appear. And uh, that's, uh, that's the second level, so it requires this simple tool to check. And then we talk about a third security level, which is no, not known in the, by the end user, of course, because it gives the authenticity of the document. So uh, it's uh, in one place, precisely on the hologram, we will add a nano feature. So it can be a nano text or a nano graph. And you will be able only to read it by a microscope, by 100. So only the authority know exactly the, the area where it is and uh, will be able to check it. So I'm going to talk now about the, the holo ID, so the volume holograms, uh, how we make it, the new generation. So as you can, uh, as you can see, it's a very bright hologram, very, very bright to compare with the others because this is not based on the same technology. It's a technology based, in fact, on the UV process. And uh, it's on the surface, mostly it's on the surface of the card. So, uh, and then on the production line, we uh, apply uh, with uh, a beamer uh, and the UV. We will, uh, we will let the UV uh, cooked, in fact, and uh, we'll keep only some uh, colors appear. So this is a very strong, uh, of course, features, as I, as I could say earlier, because uh, it's uh, now it gives the easiest way to control the authenticity of the person. And then you could add some uh, 3D volume uh, features, like uh, on the back picture with ID. It's uh, something also interesting, because you can also protect another part of the card. So this is a way how we, we make the holo ID on the production process. So you apply the holographic film on the complete card. Uh, you have uh, the blue, the blue you have, it's, uh, it's a varnish with a chemical process. Then it goes through the UV beamer. And at the last step, the picture appear. So uh, for ID cards, what we can propose, it's, uh, it depends on the support of the ID cards because the ID card can be PVC, Teslin, PET. So it, it depends, but mostly we can propose a complete uh, patch holographic film that protect the, 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 the globality of, uh, of the cards. Then you have a polycarbonate card. So we propose an embedded transparent hologram, which protect the photo mostly against the scratching because uh, polycarbonate you you are in face authorities are in face of uh, counterfeit card due to the scratching because it's just transparent layer so it's a big uh, a big problem and then we can also propose on id cards on polycarbonate support the whole id technology For the passport, uh, it depends also on the machine you, you use for the personalization system, but we can uh, propose a different kind of personalization and, and way to deliver. So as you can see on the, the back pictures, we can deliver in sheets, in roll, or in Kugler, as uh, we say in our business. This is also the machine we propose for the Lamination. So uh, one of the key success points is uh, the lamination, because as I said, if you don't uh, stick well the, the the film to the support, then uh, there is no more security. And we feel that uh, in a lot of ID documents, there is a missing 
of a strong laminator. So we have decided to create our own laminator, which is no more in roll, but on plates. So we, you have a very high pressure on the hologram, on the passport, and then you, you ensure the best quality for the application. Then for the for the polycarbonate passport, today it's, uh, it's more and more uh, a new generation, I would say, uh, documents. People go th to a, a polycarbonate data page for the passport. So we also propose this uh, embedded hologram, which protects the picture and uh, some uh, data, uh, mostly the, uh, the date of birth, which is uh, the most important. We will also, on the polycarbonate, propose a complete full-face hologram. Why? Because, uh, as I could say, the polycarbonate, uh, the main attack is the scratching from the back or from the top. So uh, even with a simple hologram, a small patch, but some, uh, some uh, authority, uh, some counterfeiters, uh, can still uh, counterfeit or I mean change a little the data. So this is a, a big uh, a big problem, a big trouble in some countries in Europe because they have made this choice. But today uh, today they are changing their opinion about polycarbonate anyway. So we have uh, developed for them a specific product with uh, a complete laminate. Then the Holo ID we can propose it on the passport with. Uh, for example, here on a paper passport. So we use a filter. This filter can be on the polycarbonate. And we apply uh, this uh, volume hologram based on photopolymer technology. And then it's a, a, another feature to control the authenticity of the document and the owner. This is how we, we apply, in fact, uh, the, the holo ID on the hologram. So it goes through the, the personalization machine, and then the machine will turn by itself the page, and they will apply the whole ID. We could add some uh, other features on this uh, transparent page, like a scramble graph, uh, as I could say, or uh, other ghost image uh, on this hologram. And uh, this image is embedded inside the uh, the film, so you cannot reach this picture, so it's protected. Otherwise, uh, of course, you could say this picture can be a scratch, but not. This is not possible. As I say, the scramble uh, scramble graph is uh, what you see, where it's written "Holo ID is secure." When you go with the back page on the other on the other page, you're going to see some uh, these features. Then we also provide some solutions for visa. Uh, as you might know, the visa is uh, something uh, also that allows people to get in in your country. So it's an important security document. Uh, so to authenticate it, we help the government by uh, an holographic patch. Uh, the holographic patch uh, is interesting because it, it authenticates the document, but it doesn't protect the data. To compare with the other solution with a complete holographic film, the complete holographic film will authenticate but will protect also the data against any counterfeit solution. So that's a, a main point. And uh, this solution is uh, typically on the Ivory Coast, uh, Ivory Coast uh, visa. And people are very uh, proud of it because uh, you're ensure that there is no uh, possible person that you don't know can get in in your country. So this is how it comes, uh, the visa top, we call it. So the, the visa with the complete hologram, it's a kit. It comes uh, in, a, in a double paper, as you can see on the back side on the left. You can personalize it with a desktop laser printing, so very uh, or inkjet. So uh, very easy, uh, easy way to, con to, to personalize. And then you, you just have to, to put uh, this, uh, this kit into the laminator, and then you have your sticker ready to be stick on your passport page. 
Finally, uh, as I say, we provide also digital uh, solution. So kissing technology today is, uh, is well known in the business because it's the world's biggest database in uh, ID documents and uh, banknotes. So the main central bank in the world and uh, authority have this uh, software because it gives all the security features on, of every document and it, it will give you the way how to control th these documents. So uh, this, uh, this software we have uh, today, we have improved it with the optical uh, sites from, uh, from our part. So that's why we have developed a solution which call it Global Checker. The Global Checker, in fact, is based on uh, fingerprint technology. It means that when the authority issued uh, the passport, we will take a picture of this data page and the hologram, and we will take an algorithm picture as we say, a fingerprint picture, and we register in a database. And then if you control by a simple scan for the bank or even for the border control, they will match these both pictures. And then you have the complete authenticity of uh, the document. Then you have the document checker, document checker, and ID document scan. It's an easy way to control. In fact, you, uh, you read the passport through a scanner and it will take several pictures and it will analyze also the hologram because today there is no tool that uh, tests the hologram but now we have uh, the way how to control the hologram, the authenticity, so we ensure that the hologram has not been removed and uh, the counterfeit doesn't change any data of the, of the genuine passport. And that... Uh, I think that's it for the presentation. So if you have any questions for that, I will be pleased to, to ask you. For the volume holo ID, we provide, uh, of course, uh, the machine which personalized because it's not a simple technology. So uh, we will deliver you the film prepared with uh, the chemical process, and you will have to acquire in the personalization system the machine. So, for example, in, the, in your complete uh, personalization machine, you will adapt a module and uh, this module, we fix this technology. So uh, it can be adapted on any uh, personalization machine, but it has to be a centralized system. It cannot be a decentralized system. This is not possible. No, it cannot be a desktop application. So our booth is 92. If you want to see any sample of uh, those technology, you're welcome. And if you need any more questions, feel free to, uh, to contact us. Thank you very much.